Good morning, and welcome to Bible Practice. My name's Mike, and I uh, hope everyone's going to have a great day today, and you'll, you'll definitely will if you spend most of your day with Jesus, um, or all your day with Jesus would be better. Um, I sang happy birthday this morning to Jesus, so I hope you try, take up me, you know, join me in this uh, thing of singing happy birthday to him every day. I'm going to share some inspiration that I read every morning. And this inspiration comes from the Lord. I believe it comes from the Lord. And uh, his words to us are this. He says, come to me for understanding, since I know you far better than you know yourself. And that's true. He knows us far better than we even know ourselves. I comprehend you in all your complexity. No detail of your life is hidden from me. I view you through eyes of grace. So don't be afraid, my intimate awareness. Allow the light of my healing presence to shine into the deepest recesses of your being, cleansing, healing, and refreshing, and renewing you. Praise God. Huh? Trust me enough to accept the full forgiveness that I offer you continually. What a beautiful statement. We don't think of that. We, we think of uh, we're forgiven later. And yet, here he's saying that forgiveness is continual. It's always there, always available to us. This great gift, which cost me my life, is yours for all eternity. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Forgiveness is at the very core of my abiding presence. I will never leave you or forsake you. Praise God. When no one else seems to understand you, simply draw closer to me. Rejoice in the one who understands you completely and loves you perfectly. As I fill you with my love, become a reservoir of love overflowing into the lives of others. Not as he fills us with love, it completes our purpose here. And that's to love others as he loved us. Which we can do as he fills us more with love, we pass that love on to others. And that's what he, it's, that's our commission as well as his commission, who this commission was. So, and if you want some Bible support on these words, you can go to Psalm 139, verses 1 through 4, 2 Corinthians 1, verses 21 through 22, and Joshua 1, verse 5. You read those passages and let the Lord's Spirit uh, inspire you into what he wants to say to you on those passages. Okay. He inspired these words. He may inspire something totally different with you because each of us has a different path. We walk together with the Lord, but we walk on different paths. Praise God. Huh? What a wonderful world. What a wonderful, beautiful creation. Think about it. People don't, I know, and they probably never will. Uh, unfortunately, but you have got to take time to believe and trust and have faith in Jesus and let him do it. He, he can, he's more than capable of doing everything, but you need that faith, trust in, in him um, so that he can. Because if you don't, because he gave us free will, we don't, we can't, uh, we can't be above him, okay? So we have to surrender that free will to him. You still have it, but you give it to him to use because he knows better than you. He knows better than me. He knows better than any of his followers. And they know it. Praise God. All right, I got a busy day today. The Lord's put a lot on my plate. And uh, he's helping me immensely today. I want to thank him prior to going through it. No matter what happens, thank you, Jesus. Okay. Have a great day. I'll be back uh, tomorrow, God willing. Peace. Love you. Bye-bye.